going to share with you a quick demonstration drawing a three-dimensional object with two-dimensional information. I'm going to start with a top view of the object, drawing a simple square in this case. And in this object, there is a line running down the middle in the top view. It's not a dashed line, it's a solid line. And that's telling us that there's something different between this, this plane and this plane. And we don't know what that is. This might be taller, it might be angling away, we're not sure. But there's something different between these two surfaces. Now we're going to draw the front view. Same, same box in this case because the object fits into a cube and there's a same line running right down the middle of the side view. So we have a top view and a front view and it shows us two different surfaces but we don't know what is different about those surfaces, what the relationship is. When we draw the side view we'll find out. In this particular case There's a line running diagonally through the view. So there's something different between this surface and this surface. Is this surface closer to us? Is this surface closer to us? We're not sure. If this were a dashed line, then we would know that something was happening on this side and this was square. But it's a solid line, so there's something happening here, something happening in this part of the, the object that is unique. And the way to find that out now is to draw the cube within which this thing fits and examine how these three views interact with each other. So here's this line. Here is this line. And we have a line at an angle connecting corner to corner. So there must be something here. And as it happens, this is the basic shape of the object. We have a rectangular surface and an angled rectangular surface. And we can see how the form of the object is represented by those three separate views.